and it's in Boo's cow. <laughs> My uncle and his friend found, <laughs> who were coming back no, from the beach no, found some dumped up. kittens by the end of the road, oh, which is sad. Me. They were bl all black, so so um, so my uncle took them to the Humane Society. And when and when his friend and that uncle came back, yeah. more kittens! One was Ginger and White, and one was Cutie Starsies. The uncle's friend sent us a picture of Cutie Starsies, and Boo went over and snapped her up. So, so now we have we have our meowing little bundle of cuteness. <laughs> what do you think about Cutie Starzies? She's great. Corn, and we are also working our way through who was Thomas Jefferson. We took a vote probably two weeks ago whether we wanted to continue to do our science, our mammal study, as well as this history study that we've gotten into with the Revolutionary War, and the Declaration of Independence, um, and our government study. And the girls voted unanimously, correct? Yes. yes. That um, we wanted to stop science so that way we could really get into our government study and our history study. So we have been reading our Who Was books. We're working on the Gather Round government study as well as the Good and the Beautiful Unit 3 history. It uh, really dives into the Revolutionary War and the Constitution. So it all ties in really nicely. Uh, the girls made up the cutest play last week. Um, they were throwing tea bags everywhere, and it was cute. Uh, they had talked about maybe making costumes and making it into a full play for video, so maybe we'll do that one of these days. All right, so the girls voted to hold off on mammals so we could really get into this history study. And once we're finished with this history study in a month or so, then we'll move back and we'll really get into mammals and make that a really cool study. That way it's not just kind of something that we fit in when we have time. And I am actually really enjoying it doing this way. We found um, Liberty Kids on YouTube, and like I said, all the Who, Who Was books, so this study has been a lot of fun for me. This um, history study has been a ton of fun for me personally, and I think everybody else is enjoying it as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> so what we are doing right now, um, the girls have found some activities during Read Aloud. So I don't think this is a fact I've actually shared on film before, but before 
I became a homeschool mom. I was a speech and language pathologist at our local school district. Were you a grammar pathologist? <laughs> I did work on some grammar. One of the teachers who I used to work with, who is now a middle school math teacher, sent me a message that she had some extra manipula manipulatives. <laughs> some extra manipulatives and wanted to know if I wanted them. So of course we said yes, right? Yep. Yes. And now the girls are having a ton of fun. There was a giant box of these pattern blocks. And we do have some things that show you what you can build, but this morning they've just been using their imagination. I'm and making a swan right now. <laughs> okay, so Bug's making a swan. Let me turn this around. Wanna see what this is that you already made? It's an owl, look, it's waving. <laughs> it's an owl, and I think she said down here is the tree. And these are the roots. Ah, very nice. And Bear's already made cats, dogs, penguins. What is this one, Bear? A bear. A bear, a bear, perfect, a bear for Bear. <laughs> And Belle and Boo are coloring some baton girls. I finished. <gasps> She's beautiful. We attend baton class. Mm -hmm. uh, this afternoon the girls do have baton. Uh, and I promised teacher that I have my baton picture finished. <laughs> yeah, so uh, their teacher sent home these baton pictures for them to color and hang on the wall. So we are going to go ahead and finish I'm our government study. <laughs> we saw we showed our kitten earlier, didn't we? I did a picture of our kitten. You want to see a picture of it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and finish our government study and get on with our sport. My bear's done, look at it. <laughs> Almost finished with the swan. I started Doing the Capitol building. <laughs> okay, so we are on lesson nine, and today we are going to learn about the legislative branch of government. This is. <laughs> All right, so Belly is practicing to be verbs today, and she was getting a giggle out of her worksheet. <laughs> what? I wrote R, and where is this R again? Because this said bikes fun. <laughs> you guys, I hear the book thin. I have you. Those are mine. <laughs> Can you make them so they make sense there, sis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Belly is doing the good and the beautiful um, level one language arts. And we're just a few lessons into this. But so far, she's doing great. Um, we took a break and had lunch, and we're almost done with subjects. Bug's finishing up teaching textbook math, and Bear is getting I her math. I am. Here, that's better. Oh, that's so much better. Um, and it is 1 o'clock, so we have about an hour until we head out to Baton, so plenty of time to finish up and maybe get some playtime in. Right, Belly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't finish my All About Me book so yet because I couldn't think of anything else. My family, my family has cats. I have a cat. Her name is Stripes. This is my family. I like rainbows. I hope you are always healthy and healthy. <laughs> I love you. Can you make sure to show the, can you show the pictures, baby? <laughs> They're so funny. You are the best. My favorite food is corn dogs. Show the picture. I like your corn dog. <laughs> you need a big pile of ketchup to dip it in, don't you? <laughs> you are my mom and you are one of my favorite people person <laughs> belly that is the sweetest book i've ever read in my whole life but i didn't finish it see there's some blank pages that's okay. because i couldn't think of anything first that's okay. that was part of belly's school she was the assignment was to make it all about me book and she did make it a lot about her but she made it some about her mom too huh <laughs> so, Belly, are you going to work on your book more, or you have 
about 10 minutes. Do you want to go play with your cat? Go and play with my cat. Okay, go have fun. So we stopped for grocery pickup. The big girls just got done with baton. How was baton today, girls? Awesome. Awesome. I got a new one, baton today oh. because I have really old one. Ooh, Bug got a new baton. Bo, what do you have there, my dear? We got lollipops. <laughs> the teacher was nice and gave him some lollipops. Bear, how was baton for you, kiddo? Great. Well, what did you do when your sissies were at baton? <laughs> Got a lot. <laughs> Boo Boo and I went on a walk in the stroller. Baton's by kind of a little neighborhood. So we walked around the neighborhood and spotted all kinds of Halloween decorations. I think I took a little video, so I'll insert a quick clip of her spotting some Halloween decorations here. Mama, what do you see, baby? That's my <laughs> tree. And we found a giant pumpkin. How big was it, Boog? <gasps> I think it was bigger than that. Probably like this big. How big, Bear? Probably about this big. <laughs> I think big so. What? It was bigger than the girls. It was huge. Look at this sweet baby. We drove home for baton and the sweet little one just couldn't hang all the way home. She never takes naps anymore, but I think she was up pretty early. I, I didn't even look at the clock, but she came in. Um, early this morning probably five o'clock and asking me to cover her up again and i don't think she ever went back to sleep so she took a little nap i'm gonna pack her upstairs um while i unloaded and bug is in the back seat cleaning out the pit what's the pit bug the dreaded <laughs> hole <laughs> but we're gonna get this little one upstairs. This is getting organized. <laughs> and unfortunately, wake her up because it is already almost five o'clock and I don't want her to sleep too late and start some dinner. <laughs> this kitty, it's so little. We don't know how old it is because it was just found, but it just loves to be snuggled, right, Bear? Yeah. It got found it, yesterday. It sleeps when I hold it. Oh my gosh. Right <laughs> Oh, it's the cutest little thing. It was sleeping like... Oh, Do you think it likes us? I think it loves you. You know what I really think? What? I think it really likes you when you snuggle with it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my so gosh. <laughs> That is, let's see if I can turn the camera around. He does that pose a lot. Oh he my is. gosh. This is his favorite pose to lay in. Oh my goodness, look at that little face. His paws are so cute. He's like, how could you ignore that face? I, All right, since the girls are out um, playing with the kitty, I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. I found a recipe for copycat Chick-fil-A nuggets and the closest Chick-fil-A to us is almost an hour away so we don't get it go very often. So I'm gonna try this. Um, we soak them in pickle juice all day and then you toss them in um, almond flour and salt and pepper is all and then stick them in the air fryer for 20 minutes. So um, I will let you know if that recipe is good and um, we're gonna try it out for the first time. And we're having these um, little potatoes with them. I got them at Costco and they are so good if you just chop them up and toss them with a little olive oil and um, sea salt and then roast them in the oven. They are so good. So quick and easy dinner and then I'll cook up some broccoli as well. Actually, I'll probably just roast it same as these with olive oil, salt and pepper and stick it all in the oven together and an easy but hopefully good dinner. <laughs> Belly just helped me clean up from dinner. How was dinner? Awesome, what, I really liked it. What was your favorite part? I really liked the chicken that mom made. You liked the chicken and what did you get now? With our dad at where he works, and and I went somewhere and got these and got chocolate for us. So Pat is so sweet, and she works with Daddy, and she goes on trips, and she's so nice to bring the girls home treats. What else has she brought you? There was popcorn. Candy cane, popcorn. Candy cane. She went on a cruise and brought you back something. Was that the popcorn? I can't remember it, but she went to Pittsburgh and she brought you back chocolate bars. Yes! Lucky girls. So we are 
finishing up for the night, right, Belly? What do we yeah. have left to do? Well. <laughs> we need to lock up our animals and get ready for bed, right? We need to lock up our animals and get ready for bed. Yep. Hello. And, okay, goodbye. This is the end of our next Team Bee Farm video. And we are going to take care of the animals, get ready for bed, and then we'll go to bed and have sweet dreams. And I hope you do too tonight. This is the bummer part about it being fall and winter. Well, I think it's a bummer. The girls think it's great is animal chores have to be done in the dark, which means flashlights, right? What is your nighttime Hi. responsibility with Chicken. the animals? And, and I'm sometimes a lot, and I sometimes just allow myself I'm to go great. and say goodnight to the goats, give them some cats, yeah. yada yada. <laughs> Belly, what is your nighttime job with the animals? Gather up the chicken eggs. <laughs> Bear, what do you do at nighttime with the animals? I get, I feed Ginger. And Ginger is the rabbit. rabbit. Boo Boo, what do you do at nighttime with the animals? I feed all of my animals in the dog pasture. <laughs> Sometimes you help daddy feed the big animals, the dogs? Yeah. All right. Faithful viewers, if you have stuck with us till the very end, I want to say thank you for sticking with us through, mo through when we woke up till, till this point of night. And when the light returns with the next day, I hope you have the best day ever. Goodbye! Thanks for watching! I love your stand